Well, Operation League Two and Wembley, here we come. Better than Bruce, but it got there in the end, obviously, no, the end, 10 minutes. Obviously, once they got the second goal, but uh, fair play to the boys, obviously, got there in the end. In this heat, how difficult was it to play? Yeah, I thought um, it showed, I thought, the first half and a half, 45. You can see the, the, the tempo of the, of the game, it's not stop start, even with the drinks break. Um, so uh, it was very hot, but it was hot for them as well, so you, you can't really complain, can you? And what a time to score from yourself and what a finish. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got there ahead of Bailey. Um, obviously, Falivi um, um, slided me in, and yeah, I ended up uh, hitting the back of the net. And then uh, yourself as well. Can you tell us exactly what happened with that goal? Because I don't think their defenders knew. Uh, I was, I was coming off, I seen my number on the board, still filming with Gavin, I'm joking now. <laughs> yeah, and obviously Bruno's taken it up, I wanted to pass initially, but I know yeah, he, always does free, he always does his free kick, so I knew rather get on target and force a save, so then obviously chasing the game, I'm thinking if I'm coming off, I'm scoring, I'm getting something for the team, so I followed it in and funny enough, it's come to me. Yeah. How incredible does it feel for you both to be going to Wembley? Yeah, I mean, for me, I've, I've been there before. Um, for the likes of Felipe, I don't know if he's been there before, but it'll be a good experience for him um, and a few other, a few other, other lads. So um, it'll be a good day out for us, uh, for the for the town. You know, we're, we're a small club, you know what I mean. Um, we've come a long way from the start of the season. Uh, like if you would have said to us at the beginning of the season, we're going, we're going to be going Wembley. I'm sure anyone would have took that. Um, so now that we're there, we're happy. But again, it's going to be a tough game against uh, Tranmere, and we look forward to it. Yourself? Yeah, so obviously I um, got myself to Wembley last year and won it in Coventry but didn't manage to get on the pitch. It's all part of a loan experience but who doesn't like Wembley? So it's the second time around the second year. Hopefully done enough to get myself in that team. If not, play my part as I have this season. I um, haven't played as much as I want to but obviously coming on a few times and they've always said in the change it might not be the starters but obviously it's a team game so it could be anyone and funnily enough I sent them to Wembley. So. Yeah, fair play to the cafe. Fair play for me. It's a, again. it's a great reward for a long season, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, massive, massive reward. Like I said a minute ago, if you um, sort of told us we were going Wembley at the start of the season, I thought we'd have took, took that. Um, like I said a minute ago as well, if now that we're there, it's going to be a good day out um, and hopefully we can come away with the tourists. What do you see as our chances in the final? Hey, it's, it's a one game. I mean, yeah, Tramir are going to be a tough opponent, but um, it's a one game that we, we can be more, more than comfortable in going into it. And uh, if we perform at a level that we have done this season, I'm sure we can get a good result. Obviously, how excited will you all be? Do, do players need team talks before these sort of games? Uh, I guess it's like something that's can't really talk much, it's something that happens on the day really, so whoever turns up, it's a 90 minute extra time and penalties if needed, so we've got experience in the team, good players, and as you say, it's one match away from Wembley, so if that's not enough to motivate you, then we're struggling, obviously, we've got experience in the team, and just cultured footballers really, so I've got enough to get through it. Congratulations to you both. Thank you.